So today I have a first impressions video on the Schwarzkopf Live Intense Color hair dye in the color metallic silver and I am so excited to use this. I actually went to buy it a couple days ago because I've, yeah, I've, I've been wanting it for a while but I wanted to bleach my hair first so that I could apply it to completely bleached hair with no roots. So I was in town and I, I think I mentioned it at the end of my last video but it was nowhere, it was sold out everywhere, this particular color. Um, it was sold out of Superdrug, Boots, Body Care. I even went to a Tesco Superstore and it was sold out there as well. And, I'd, and it, it was meant to be in all of those places. I saw the, the like on the tag where it should be sat, but it was just sold out everywhere. So luckily I remembered my boyfriend was going to Asda that day. So I was like, please check and see if they've got this color and they did so I was like get two of them <laughs> because I've got so much hair and yeah I usually use need to use two boxes of hair dye whenever I use a box hair dye there's a little bit of backstory to how I bought it in the end I got they, these both from Asda well he did and they were £4.50 each so for the two boxes it was uh, £9 altogether I'm so excited to use this um, as you can see my hair has freshly been bleached. That was my last video I believe. I did try to tone it with um, I think a B Blonde toner in the colour Lilac uh, and it did, you know, it did make my hair quite a nice platinum colour, at least down here, but my roots where it was, you know, needed the most, it hasn't really toned that at all and you can still see there's quite a lot of yellow brassy tones. So I'm hoping this will sort that out. This does have um, some lightener chemicals in it. It's hydrogen peroxide. So it will lighten your hair a bit if you are gonna use this. So that is why I wanted to get rid of my roots first because I have used other ones of their live kind of colors. I used their Cool Lilac color which I really do love I have a video on that if you are interested in that color but right now I'm going for more of a silvery gray finish that is the aim for this and also yeah I'm kind of glad that it does have a bit of uh, peroxide in there because I bleached my hair myself again and uh, that, that is it is a tiny bit uneven I did a pretty good job I was pretty proud of myself but there are some areas I'm trying to find an example like there you can just see I haven't quite gone far enough down so there's just like a line so I'm hoping this will even that out a bit that's the color it claims it'll be able to give your hair yeah it does recommend for you to have bleached hair or already very blonde hair before you use this and I'll just show you what is in the actual box it's all of the generic things you get your instructions gloves developer bottle cream color and some conditioner so of course before you use any new hair dye make sure you do your strand test and a little patch test to make sure you're not allergic to it I'm gonna do the first time application instructions if I can find the English version Okay, so it recommends applying this from your roots to the ends of your hair. So, hmm. And then just mas massage the mixture into your hair until it's all coated and then leave it for 30 minutes. So, all right, I'm gonna get on with that. I'm gonna get into something that I don't mind getting stained. As always, wish me luck. And yeah, let's, let's hopefully get silver hair. <laughs> Alright, so I'm all ready. I've got my hair um, up, so the first section I'm going to do is ready to go. <laughs> I'm going to do the first step, which is to put the cream colour into the developer bottle and then just shake that up until yeah, it's all mixed together in that. Okay, so I think that's thoroughly shaken up. Yeah, and currently it doesn't actually, there's no distinct colour that's shining through. Sometimes with pastel kind of hair dyes you get um, a bit of blue or purple coming through but this just looks really white but anyway I'm going to get on with the application
I've pretty much covered my roots and that's used up the first bottle of the hair dye so because I haven't really got onto the actual lengths of my hair yet but I'm so glad I got a second bottle um second box if you have anywhere near as long hair as me definitely get two boxes even if you have mid-length hair I think two boxes would be a good idea unless you are just doing your roots of course So that is all of my hair, all coated in the hair dye. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit lightheaded because of all of the hair dye fumes. So I'll leave this to develop for 30 minutes, wash that off, and yeah, I'll be back because I'll put in the conditioner and record that. So I've got the colour all washed out, and um, yeah, the colour, the tone is looking very cool um yeah I just can't wait to see what it looks like completely dry but it is looking very grey at the moment so yeah it's looking good I guess last step before the results is to apply the conditioner so I'm just going to get these two sachets on now so it says to leave the conditioner on for about two minutes I'll probably leave it on a bit longer just because I, I lo love the feel of conditioner and I like to leave it in my hair as long as possible to make me feel like I'm repairing it a bit more. And by the way, the conditioner smelled amazing. I always love Schwarzkopf conditioners. I always find they smell so good. And also I thought it was gonna be a purple conditioner to help with the tone, but it was just a white conditioner, just a normal colored conditioner. So that is it. I did just wanna show you what it looked like after I'd rinsed the hair dye out. But yeah, the next time you'll be seeing it will be the final results. So yeah, I'm so excited to see how it turns out all dry. I'll see you when it's all finished. So this hair dye has worked so well. My hair is looking really nice and silvery. I'm, I am so happy with it. Don't really know what else to say because yeah, it's, yeah I'm just really happy with it it's completely neutralized the brassy tones that I did have in my hair yeah my hair just looks very nice and cool toned sort of silvery grey which I'm so so happy with it's a hair colour that I've really really been trying to achieve for a while so I definitely recommend this hair dye yes having said that I think it is best if you do have your hair bleached really quite well and yeah really highly lifted light blonde color if you are interested how i got my hair to that that stage before i used that box hair dye that is in my previous video which i'll link below i am so happy with this the only thing i would say and it's completely personal is that the final tone is a little bit more blue than i'd like it but only at the tiniest bit I think um, I would have preferred it if there was a little bit more violet pigment in the hair dye, but that is completely personal. I think Schwarzkopf have done a really good job on this one. Their previous one, which I've used, the Cool Lilac colour, um, that, that one, I, I loved the colour it gave. It was like a really lovely pink colour, but not at all lilac. Other videos that I'd watched of people who had tried that one they were a bit disappointed that it wasn't actually a lilac colour that it gave but this one is really really accurate it has actually yeah given me a really close colour to what they claim to give you and my hair after all of that is feeling quite dry uh, I'm not surprised because bleached my roots used toner and then two days later I used that product which does have peroxide in it so my hair has yeah not had a very good time this week in my next video or a very soon future video i'm going to be trying the la Riche directions semi-permanent conditioning hair color and i'm going to be trying them out in the color silver and i'm going to be trying the white toner as well so definitely subscribe so you know when i've put that video up hope this was useful and i will be seeing you in my next video